Okay, okay. Um, if when I do this gesture, which, which from now on I will refer to as shaky fist gesture, if you could, if you could like build tension in a sort of uh, 1950s B movie kind of way. <laughs> So if it were shaky fist tension, and then if I do that, kill the tension, stop. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, it's very short. This, so, so, so at the end of it, if I, you know, maybe, maybe a traditional thumbs up would get, would get me a redunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really satisfying. Okay, it's a quick poem about a recent spiritual journey. <clears throat> <laughs> Morality is relative. Last week, I declared myself a Muslim. I ate a pig! <laughs> they kicked me out. <laughs> this week, I declared myself a Hindu. I punched a cow! <laughs> <laughs> They kicked me out. <laughs> Yesterday, I joined the Church of England. I punched a Muslim and ate a Hindu. <laughs> so far, nobody said anything. <laughs> I did that work in Brighton and somebody heckled me and it's the most, it's a proper poetry heckle. Somebody shouted, Why are you prejudiced against people of faith? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd like to point out that I'm not prejudiced against people of faith. I think faith is a beautiful human anomaly. <laughs> I, I also think that if your faith is founded on tenets that, you know, condone slavery, the subjugation of women and the murder of those, it deems to be blasphemous. And then as, like, blokes in purple embroidered dresses swanning around condemning homosexuality, then as far as I'm concerned, the floodgates are open for a gentle ribbon. 